This video is for educational and creative purposes only. Showing you how to get the most out of CapCut's built-in and advanced tools in ways that follow the software's terms of use. And in this detailed guide, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to make the most of CapCut's advanced editing tools on your PC in a way that keeps all your creative work organized and intact. So the first thing you'll do is open CapCut and immediately click on Create New Project. You can skip any optional tips and go straight to the Upload button to bring in the content you want to work with. Locate your files in your computers. Directories, select them and add them into your new project. Once they're in the media panel, you can start editing by dragging them to the timeline and enhancing them with high quality transitions. Animated elements, custom stickers, text effects, and other advanced tools, taking your time to arrange them smoothly for a clean, professional look. And after you're satisfied with how the video is coming together, select the entire timeline. Content, right-click it and choose Create Subproject. Then right-click on the subproject and choose Pre-Save Subproject, which will process your edit into a separate, organized file. Wait until the process finishes, then go to the CapCut settings, where you'll see exactly which directory your subproject was stored in. After that open file explorer, click on this PC, go to local disk C, open the users folder, click on your username, and if you don't see the app data folder at the top, click on the three dot menu in file explorer, select options or properties. Go into the View tab and enable Show Hidden Files. Once that is applied, you'll see the App Data folder. Open it, then navigate to Local, Find and open the CapCut folder. Then open User Data, and inside, there open the Project folder. Now locate your project by number. In my example, it's folder 087. Open that folder, go into Resources, then Back Out and Open Recordings and you will see the complete project file with all your transitions, elements, and effects exactly how you designed them. And that's the first method. The second method, if you want to ensure the smoothest experience possible, is to try a different version of CapCut that's more compatible with your system by opening your web browser. Searching for CapCut version history, pressing Enter, clicking, on a trusted site like Up Toad Down, scrolling to find a version that works best for your device. Downloading it, installing it on your PC, and then continuing your editing workflow with all the creative tools you enjoy, which is an easy, fast, and reliable way to keep your projects running smoothly. So that's how you can access, use, and save CapCut's advanced features on your PC in full detail and if this tutorial helped you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more editing tips and let me know in the comments what type of content you're creating next. And remember, always use editing software responsibly and in line with its official terms of service.